What is up guys, GT Gamer here and welcome back to OCRP. Did you enjoy the purge? Because I really, really did. It was so much better than the last one. Like, just not getting killed constantly by cops and actually being able to team up with cops and shoot other civs and cops. It was incredible, I loved it. But today we are not playing as the purge, we are Charles Almiston. I know the name doesn't really suit the character, but I don't care. And we're on a very specific mission. We are going to find a really impressive truck. There was a terrible pun there. We're going to find the truck that does wheelies. And I, <laughs> I really want to go around doing wheelies. There's pretty much nothing else to it. Um, I don't know where it would be. Um, I'm going to assume it's in this dealership here. But it may well be in any of them. we got six dealerships to go to. I don't have a car. Which is why I'm using this golf buggy and sticking to the side of the road at the moment. Because that is perfectly legal. You gonna go? Yeah, you little bastard. Not like he had right of way or anything. So I'm just gonna go down here. We do have medical on. We also have um, quite a few civilians. We've got a tow guy on. I saw him driving around with his lights on. His little yellow flashing lights on the top. It looked pretty cool actually. Um, cops though, we don't have many cops on. Why? I don't actually know, but I don't know. It might be a little bit tricky to find some cops to screw with, but we're going to try anyway. I'm rather hoping that bicycle police make a return because I really want to run them over. They just... If you've seen my last couple of videos, you'll know why. They're fucking annoying. And uh, that's pretty much the plan for today, so I'm going to go down to this dealership and I hope to God there is a wheelie truck there. I just lost control of my golf cart. Right, we are here. Let's have a look what they sell in here. Track the parts. That seems to be the right place. Um, ooh, I don't know what it's called. It would probably come under trucks. It's not the Guardian. Uh, is that the... Okay, the, apparently the Guardian is the only truck. <laughs> apparently. I mean, that would be quite fun to screw around with, but let's not. We're getting in a lot of trouble for that. Golf cart, what the hell is that? I want one, where do I buy it? Uh, that's that dock tug thing. Mower. Oh, just the amount of fun you can have on a mower. It's only 1200 I might get that one day. Tow trucks. Oh, come on, it's got to be here. Um, hmm. Not on off-road so far. The Dubster 6x6. They're actually 300,000 in real life, so that should be a lot more than that. They are, like, the coolest car ever made, though. Uh, Monster Truck, another 6x6. Don't even know what that is, but I want one. Is there really only one truck? Right, it's not this dealership, then. Okay. Um, uh, let's go have a look at this one down here on uh, Route 68. This actually presents a minor problem for us because we can't go on the road in a golf buggy, so I'm just going to stick right to the very edge, and if a cop pulls me over, I'm just going to hope they're sympathetic and that it's not Ryan. He seems to have a real big issue with being sympathetic. Don't know why. Great guy, but sometimes he's questionable with his judgement. And uh, now we can stick to the road. It's really weird. I woke up this morning and the weather was really bad. Like, I put on a t-shirt and shorts. Didn't even look at the window. I just assumed it was going to be sunny like the rest of the week. Opened my door and it was like, the rain was worse than it is in the game now. It really was that bad. So, I had quite a surprise when I opened the door and there was just pissing down. So I was like, uh, I need to go get a jacket. So, I got a jacket, I got some trousers, I need to go on the side of the road. And I uh, went out and got in my car. And as soon as I got in my car and started driving, it stopped raining. Because that is just my kind of luck. Um, good news is, however, my parents aren't home. I live with my parents. Yeah, I know. I am that cool. I'm like that guy. And uh, it's not that bad. I'm only 20. <laughs> and um, they've gone out. So I can actually use my big voice today. I don't have to whisper really quite. Oh, look at that. I can actually talk as loud as I want, which is absolutely freaking great. 
because otherwise my dad usually comes in shouting like, Dad, not fucking wrecking down! It's like, oh, I'm sorry, man. Right, we are kind of here. I do need to cross the road. Look both ways for crossing. Almost hit a station wagon. I think that's how this saying goes. And let's see if they sell the wheelie truck in here. SUVs, vans, trucks it would be under. Oh, hello. Random civilian. Civ. Bobcat B2. What's that? I don't want one. I just wanted to spawn. Oh, it's glitched. Bobcat XL2. Slam van. I do want a slam van. That would be wicked for a pursuit. I know one of you guys actually suggested that. They have the worst brakes in the world, but they're pretty damn quick. Um, Yosemite, not sure what that is. Wow, that's really nice. It's also 485,000 bucks. Some of these cars I've never actually seen, because I stopped playing GTA that long ago, that I haven't actually seen them. That's pretty cool, though. Rat loader, another rat loader, slam van, another slam van. Vapid Riata, that's a cool truck. 380,000 bucks. Rancher. All I want is the wheelie truck. That's it. The Dune Loader 3. That is it. How much is it? 8,500 and my camera is glitched out like fuck. Okay, we're going to buy that. And it's glitched as always. <laughs> oh, dude. I wonder if the stock version does wheelies. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that was ridiculously close to hitting that car. <laughs> That's so stupid. I want one, though. I literally can't turn if I'm accelerating. That is probably the weirdest fucking thing. Right, let's see what we can do to this baby. I'm going to make it my own. Upgrades, armor, six grand. I reckon that's worth it. How much money do I have on me? Just under 50,000 brakes. I can do that. Engine. Uh, yeah, why not? Suspension, transmission, turbo. This is freaking awesome. Really? A clown on a Harley. That is like. Pfft, whatever, dude. Whatever. Like. Uh, I'm just going to see, I'm going to assume you can't do loads to it. Engine block, you're looking in the wrong place there. Uh, horns, hydraulics. Oh, this thing with hydraulics would be amazing. License plate. Mm, pointless changing. Neons, do I want neons on this? Um, and for the first time ever, I'm going to say no to the neons. Plate, I thought we already did that, but okay. Respray. Uh, not pearlescent, I want... I'm thinking a green would suit this truck. Hmm. It's got to be like a dark-ish green. What about light green? Not lime green. I don't want it too dark. I want it to stand out. I like light green. I think that's a good colour. And then secondary, we're going to go... Where's black? Right at the top. I'll take that. Uh, seat shifter. Hmm. Window tint, yes, please. Um. I think that's everything. We upgraded the engine and all that. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. Right, we need to go to the DMV. I don't know why my game is lagging. Um. To avoid some fell RP, I'm not going to just register it right here. What I'm going to do is remove the plate, and the only real way to do that is to set the license plate text to that, and it shows that you don't have... <laughs> that it's not registered. Oh, this truck, man. No, not by the pumps. Do not wheelie into the pumps. That would not be good. It even sounds like... The, the sound is so perfect. Like, it suits this truck so much. Right, we're on our way to the uh, DMV. DMV is in the city. I just had something on the tip of my tongue, but I can't remember what it was. We was going to do something. Um, I'm fine for water and all that. 
Come on, truck, turn on. There you go. Yeah, I did have something in mind on what I wanted to do, but I can't remember what it was. God, this is so silly. It's fast, though. Let's see how fast we can get up to on this stretch of road here. Just hope we bump into no cops. That looks like a cop. No, that's not a cop. There goes an ambulance. I wonder where they're going. I'm going to go... Ooh, I accelerated and had no steering then. I did not bear that in mind. Nothing coming. No, that's okay. <laughs> ah, the bad thing is that I'm on my roof. Um... The bad thing is that even if you let off the accelerator, it takes a while for the nose to drop. So there's nothing I can do. I think I'm going to have to call the police. Um, this should be interesting. 911, where's your emergency? Yeah, I just flipped my car over. There's a uh, there's an ambulance here with me, but I'm like on my roof on a guardrail. Where's your location? Anybody in this vehicle? I'm at four, uh, 949 Hello? Panorama. Hey, what's up, Hello, man? Anybody in here? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm just on the phone to the 911. You did say there's an ambulance with you. Yeah, he just arrived on scene. Okay, I'll let the just let him know that there's an ambulance here right now. We'll go ahead and help you out. Are right, you injured at all? Send an officer to your location. Okay, I will, man. Sorry, what'd you say, dispatcher? Hang tight, and I'll send an officer to your location. Okay, I appreciate it. Thank you. Not a problem. Yeah, I think it's just a bit of whiplash, actually, man. It's not that bad. I just... This truck's so powerful, the front wheels lift off the ground, and it just bounced off the guardrail and flipped over. All right, well, we'll just check you out and make sure you're good to go. Okay. Do you want me to uh, crawl out? Uh, yeah, can you crawl out? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can. Right. See Sit that for a magic trick? Here. Yep. Uh, I think that's the right one. There you go. Anything yeah. uh, hurting in particular? Uh, just my uh, neck and shoulder a little bit. I think that's from the seat belt. Right. Okay. All right. Uh, your head hurt or anything like that? No. It's quite a uh, sturdy truck. Gotcha. Alrighty. Yeah, it was a perfect timing. Just as I rung 911, the, uh, I saw you guys pull up out my back window. Yeah, yeah. There's that clown better. on a Harley. Alright, what's your name? Uh, what is my name? My name's Charles. Okay. That's Ryan. 100 pounds says that's Ryan. You called us, pal? Yeah, man. My, uh, I crashed my truck and flipped over. Taking a corner too fast. No, it's a very powerful truck. The front lifted up as I tried to turn. That's actually true oh. as well. Okay. You want us to run you down to uh nice white set. You want us to run you down to uh, Sandy Medical just to get you checked out? Um Yeah, I suppose I better do just for insurance purposes. Yeah. Alrighty. Did somebody hit you, or did you uh, just lose control? I stopped at the stop sign uh, over there, I did. And I put my foot down to go, tried to uh, fit through a gap. And the wheels lifted off the ground. They just hit the barrier, and it bounced at an awkward angle. That's not at all what happened. Oh, no. Okay. What's your name, buddy? My name's Charles. <laughs> Almiston. This uh, truck, I literally just bought it. It's not registered yet. I was on my way to the DMV. Uh, I suppose I better yeah, Sorry get to interrupt you, Deputy, there. Um, sir, do you think you're going to be able to walk to the ambulance? Do you want to hop on the stretcher here and uh, roll you in there? Or? I can walk, man. It's just my neck and shoulder that's aching. I think it's from the seatbelt. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and put it back in the bus then, and then uh, when he gets done with him, we'll go ahead and head out. Sounds uh, like a plan. Hey, Ryan, uh, we got a wrecker on the way to pick this truck up, too, so. Oh, that's great. Cool. He's about three minutes out. 
I appreciate yep. that, man. Just take a seat, Charles, if you don't think you need to stand up. I'm just gonna get the registration on your vehicle. Oh no, I'm fine. Just a little bit um, in shock. <laughs> Wasn't expecting it at all. Oh, yeah. One minute I'm stopped at a sign, next I can just see sky out my window. Mm -hmm. Do you have a plate on it yet, Charles? No, as I said, I'm going to register it now, man. Or I was at least. What's a coat? C O T E. Med gag. <laughs> I think he means a med bag. A med gag would be like the doctor, doctor joke. Doctor, doctor, I feel like a pair of curtains. Oh, pull yourself together. That's a med gag. But right, we're gonna get going to the hospital. Now here's the wrecker, I do believe. Let me talk to him. Hey, man. This is quite the scene, um, and it was completely unintentional. This officer's car and let you get in here. <laughs> hey Ryan, I'm gonna pull your car up a little bit so the record can get in. If he gives me a ticket, that was a good time. I know that's pulling up on us too. Yeah, man, I was, I was literally just on the phone to 911. Yeah, we were just coming from the city, and uh, I just so happened to see it. I was like, okay, do I see that or? And then I stopped. I realized that you're still in there. You might <laughs> want to move down here. You got anywhere you want? That'd be him to ask this guy right here because he owns it. Um, I guess if you uh, drop it off over the junkyard, just over there on um, what's that street called? On Catclaw, yeah, my uh, okay. friend owns it, so I'll just talk to them and they'll store it for me. All right. Hey, buddy, what a tow company are you with, by the way? Uh, I'm with uh, Detroit Iron Hauler. Detroit. New company. No worries, then. Quite interested to see how he's going to flip this over, actually. Because it is actually on site, so you can't just hop in and do some kind of slash magic. Oh. What a buzzkill. I was expecting something a lot more special than that. <laughs> it's like. Oh, he's going to do some magical stuff. Watch this. It's going to be amazing. And then he just teleports. Ah, that's a buzzkill. Hopefully we can get that all nicer and fair by our insurance. It's not going to be a write-off. I doubt it, man. It's a very tough truck. It's actually kind of funny. This episode was meant to be me screwing with the cops. Now it's me talking to the cops about how I crashed my very powerful truck. All right, well. You got everything you need, Ryan? Yeah, yeah. I'm just filling out a report now and... Uh give this gent a lift down to the garage to see how his uh, vehicles do. Okay, that's uh, fine by he's, me. Uh, he's going to uh, me uh, Sandy Medical. Oh, you want to go to the uh, clinic, sir? Yeah, just so in case my insurance asks anything about injuries, because my shoulder aches a little bit. Wow, it's so spacious you in here. Drive. All good. Come on, put me in the back. <laughs> Alright, man. Let's put that seatbelt on right there. What will get you to the hospital? Never been in the back of an ambulance before. Yeah, hopefully, you never need to be back in another one. Yeah, hopefully. I dislocated my elbow when I was a kid, and my dad called a taxi. Oh, wow. Yeah. I was crying my eyes out, I screamed, where's the ambulance, and he said, hang on, the taxi's almost here. That's actually true. I swear to God, that's a true story. My right elbow tried to jump off a wall, bent backwards, it was that badly discated. My dad was like, hang on, the taxi's coming. I was like, you motherfucker. Well, as you didn't say that, I was like six, but still. There you go. Hey, what's up, Doc? Ah, there we go. Out of the, uh, out of the hospital. Cost me 50,000 bucks for a whiplash injury, just because, you know, that dude. <laughs> what is, what is that RP? What, what do I do, want to do today? I know, I want to dress up as a clown that's really creepy and ride a Harley beeping at people. Because everyone thinks that when they get up. Right, I need to go get my truck. Um, it's at the junkyard, so, anyone... Put it on Twitter, seeing if that's not how you spell able. 
anyone able to give me a lift? I will pay. Don't, uh, no murderers. There you go. Awesome. One, one. Someone. Ah, uh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. I can't spell today, I swear to God. And it's slash tweet. Right, let's see if anyone replies to that. Okay, guys, my uh, friend very nicely um, went and got my golf cart from where I bought the truck. And he brought it up to me, so I'm going to take this baby down to the... Um, oh, there's that paramedic again. I'm going to take this down to the junkyard and get my truck back. So, I don't want to take too long. Uh, I guess I'll bring you back when this ambulance gets out my fucking way. Screw it, I'm going around. And, um, yeah, I'll see um, if I can get my truck back. Hopefully I can. I still want to screw with the cops. Okay, guys, we are here at the um, truck place where I asked it to be dropped off. And I'll go inside and see if I can uh, find it. Okay, Rose, the person who owns the junkyard, told her that some guy came around with a tow truck. Said it was a blue tow truck. It was oddly specific. Said that he looked dodgy. That's my phone going off. And... Um, she refused to accept it because he wasn't a recognised tow truck driver. He wasn't associated to one of the companies that works for us. So, she said that he arranged to have it dropped off at 2.26, uh, which is in Grapeseed. That is... I knew that tow truck driver was dodgy. I hope he hasn't done anything to my truck. I had a lot of valuables in the glove box. And I don't have receipts from them either. And they're not insured, so I can't prove I own them. Um, they better still be there, I swear to God. Ah, there she is, my uh, beautiful truck. Engine still looks fine. Let's see the damage. I Wait, why is there no door? And why is the hood open? What the hell? Okay, that's... My stuff better be in the glove box. What? No, m my jewellery. What the fuck? Son of a bitch, they stripped my truck. They stripped my fucking truck. I'm, I'm calling the police. That is unacceptable. That tow truck guy, I knew he was dodgy. Motherfucker. 911, where's your emergency? Yeah, I'm at 2026. I'm the guy that called earlier about the accident. My truck's been stripped of all its parts by someone. And, like, loads of stuff been stolen out of it. I can't believe this, man. Like, 2026 Grapeseed, Main. Yeah. In the, um, there's a farm here. All my stuff is gone. There was loads of stuff worth a lot of money to, and a lot of ma value to me just got stolen. Alright, stand by and I'll get a... Officer to your location, uh, are you on scene at 2026? Yeah, I am. My stuff, man. Alright, stand by and I'll send a deputy over there. Okay, I appreciate it, officer. <laughs> officer. Is that them? Yeah, that's them. They took my shit. I'm not happy. Hello, sir. Hello, deputy. Did you call the police? Yeah, someone stole all my shit out of the truck. When it got crashed earlier, the tow truck driver took it, and I went to the scrapyard where he said he would drop it off, and she said that she refused to accept it, and it was bought here. I don't know why he'd bring it here, but when I arrived, the doors had been gone, and all my stuff was stolen at the uh, dashboard. Okay. Radio, do you remember the name of the individual who sold the name of the tow truck driver? No, but he had a blue truck. Blue truck, and he was the skinny old guy, alright? Let's have a look at your truck, alright? Let's uh, get, get a note of some damages, and I'll write some notes up, okay? So we can follow this up with an investigation and possibly uh, check out for the individual. Yeah, as you can see, the doors are gone. 
and the inside of the hood was it's just there was all leather in there and it's gone and there was the thing that hurts most is my great grandmother's ring was in the glove box and that's irreplaceable and my wedding ring okay. all right okay is she passed unfortunately yeah right in here. 2012 can't believe this all my stuff no it's definitely not here Turn the engine off, that's loud as fuck. Come on, engine. Off you go. You know you wanna. Is uh, your grandmother's jewellery gold, silver? It's a gold ring with a... Uh, it's got like a platinum stand and a diamond in the middle. It's very expensive, but it's, the sentimental value is so much. And... I know, I, I understand that. And the second item that was missing, that grandmother. The other item that's missing is my wedding ring, which was gold and it had uh, my wife's name engraved on the inside. And what initials were they, or what was her name? Uh, Dorothy. Dorothy! <laughs> Dorothy. Almiston. Dorothy, where did I get that? I just panicked and went, what's a girl's name? <laughs> Yeah, Dorothy Almiston. It's got it engraved on the inside of the ring. <laughs> How am I spelling Dorothy? D O R O T H Y. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> I need to be serious. This is stupid. <laughs> That's actually great. Okay, so what I've got so far, and tell me if there's any more that I need to add or I need to rechange this. Um, the only other thing was the inside of the um, trunk, which is in the front. There was a, like a leather lining, and that's completely gone as well. They've just stripped it down oh, to the metal. I do appreciate this, officer. My uh, my wife's gonna kill me. <laughs> radio. I'll get this radio in. Um, do you need a lift anywhere? No, she still works. I'll just go and get it repaired I guess and then okay. register it <laughs> right I'll get this radioed in and I'll be on my way okay Charles okay I appreciate it I officer. hope you have a better day and I'll, I'll, we're going to do our best to get this resolved for you thank you I wonder how we would feel if I wheelied it through that fence oh nothing has ever been so tempting mm, no I'm being the good guy today I wasn't going to be, but I am. I love the way I haven't got any real lights. <laughs> there goes my hood. <laughs> I, I can't put the nose down. I'm trying. Oh my god. Oop. That didn't happen. Just ignore that. You're fine. Oop. Yep. Yeah, Self-leveling truck. It's a new design by um, the truck company. Whatever. <laughs> just just go with that, it's good. I'm so upset about, about Grandma's ring, though. She's my great-grandma as well. <laughs> I'm so upset. And the lever. I paid like $1,500 extra to have that. Oh, this day couldn't get any worse. You know what, I'm going to go out and look for that truck driver that stole my stuff. Was that him? That's him. Oh my god, what's the chances of that? That's him. I'm gonna get my stuff back. Ooh, popped a wheelie. I haven't got a gun. I need a gun. Give me my shit back, motherfucker. I'm hoping we run into the cop, that would be great. He's all over the road, he is dodgy. Straight up dodgy, look at that. I got a siren, kind of, it's fine. Where's the cop? I really need to call the police, but I can't. That's him. Ah, he's busy.
Hey man, give me my shit back. What shit? You stole my stuff. No man. My rings. I steal nothing. I dropped my off ring. like my great great grandmother's ring and and my wedding ring out the dashboard and my doors. Well, whatever was on. I know it was you. You're the only person with my truck. Well, whatever would have been on your dashboard probably fell off when you flipped it on its side. No, it was in the glove box. I, I found him, officer. I found the guy. <laughs> I know. I, I, I can see that. I don't know what he's talking about. Yes, you do. Don't lie. Alright, Charles. Charles, if you could just take a step back real quick. I saw him swerving all over the road as well, officer. Alright, buddy. Let's hey, see how up? this ends. Yeah, this hey, guy was chasing up behind me. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, I understand that. Could you take a step out of the vehicle, please? I'm going to be detaining you for the purpose of the investigation at this moment in time. <laughs> uh, uh, I suppose, let me shut her down. I'm going to get in and shut mine down as well. They're quite uh, gas heavy, these are. Okay, okay, since you are being detained, you do have the right to remain silent. Anything you do or say can and will be used against you in a court. Or if it's not something that you do later rely on in court, you have the right to return you present with you during questioning. If you cannot afford one, one will be appointed to you. Do you understand that? Yep. Okie dokie. Do you have uh, some ID on you, please, sir? And possibly the registrations, uh, registration, sorry, license, and your, obviously, your license to be a tow truck driver? <laughs> so, tells me he's not going to have them. I got my driver's license. That's Wait, not what he asked. say I'm okay to drive something like this. Got it registered. They didn't say nothing about any special stuffs, but here's my other stuff. <laughs> Name's Darren Granger. Geiger and... Sorry, could you just... Could, Geiger. Could you say that again, sir? This is one of the coolest scenarios I think I've done. I don't know what he's going on about, Not man. the most exciting, but one of the most fun I've done. It's also one of the most in-depth ones I've done. A lot of plot twists and stuff going on. And none of it was planned. My plan was to go out and do some wheelies and piss the cops off, but... I mean, this is much better. All right, Darren. Do us a favor. Could you just relax? Your... What I'm going to do is I'm going to place you in cuffs, okay? Just the fact that you do have a weapon on you. So I'm just going to do that for mine. <laughs> You're just taking safety. my word for so it. So you could go ahead and relax your right hand, or right arm, please, and I'll take that behind your back and then do that the same with your left. Yes, sir. There is literally like no said, evidence he stole my ring. About. I just hauled it off, like he said. Alright, first off, you wanna just call me, I'll go get you sat down in the back of my cruiser. <laughs> Alright. Two hundred dollars in folded envelope stuff in between seats. That is certainly an unusual thing to have in your truck. Hundred percent, that's dodgy. But yeah, I think this scenario worked out pretty good. Because um there's only like one or two cops on, so it gives them something to do without being in a pursuit and or getting killed and then basically have to call it off because there's not enough people. There will be later, it is a Saturday night, but at the moment there's not enough cops on to do like proper in-depth scenarios. And I think this was much better than what I had planned, because the wheelie thing would just be like me wheeling and all that, and it would just be like the same as you- excuse me, just burped, same as usual. But this is much more interesting. Looks through window of tow truck. I think that officer is giving him a uh, sucky sucky five dollar. That's what it looks like from here, but okay. I suppose I better go sit back, or at least stand near my truck. Still not registered. I love the way I've been driving an unregistered vehicle around and no one said anything. Like, I mentioned it at the beginning when I rolled it, but... Eh, I suppose that's why they haven't questioned me, because they know. Yeah, I've literally got no plate. <laughs> Which is weird. Now, let's see if anything happens. Call his wife to let her know about crash and theft. Um, well, I'm on the phone to my wife. Babe, you lost my ring! Like, all that. <laughs> 
Um, I just wanted to say thank you guys. I hit 500 subscribers over the weekend, uh, just before I made the Purge episode, actually. But I didn't want to make that a massive thing during the episode. Andrew was streaming and all that. But, um, yeah, that's really cool. I can, like, genuinely remember when I had... I can remember when I had 13 subscribers. I remember when I had 8, actually. That was a fairly long time ago, i got to be honest, but still. It's mad how it's jumped from, I think, three months ago I had around 43, 38, something like that. And it just jumped up since I started doing OCRP. And it really is amazing, so thank you guys so much for that. And uh, I'm going to continue to make awesome episodes. And I'm hoping to continue the streak of doing one every day except Sunday. Because um, that's when I like to upload, 10 o'clock uh, Greenwich Mean Time, which is UK time. That is, I believe, 5 or 6 o'clock Eastern, not 100% sure. I think it's 6 o'clock Eastern. Uh, yeah, it would be. But yeah, I just want to say thank you guys for that. It's amazing. I'm now on 509 subscribers as I'm recording this. And hopefully that'll just click, keep climbing because we're over halfway to our goal now of 1,000 subscribers. Right, let's get back into the roleplay and see what this copper does about the theft. I do want to get my rings back though. I really do. It was so special. And, and I didn't, it wasn't just like me making something up to get the tow truck in dr driver in trouble. He was dodgy, so I said to him in uh, TeamSpeak, which is what we use to communicate, hey man, you look really dodgy doing that. And he was like, yeah, I meant to be, make up a scenario. So I did. <laughs> he probably wasn't expecting the one he got, but I liked it. Those seats in there are really poor, but they are both identical. It's funny how it's the same rip on both seats. That's weird. They actually look pretty comfy though, i got to be honest. I'd sit in a seat like that if it wasn't so ripped. Put one in my car, maybe. Oop, the cops stood back up. Let's see uh, what he does next. Okay, uh, Mr. Sweets, is that correct? Sweets? No, it's it's it's, uh, it's, it's Almerstone, never mind. All right, Mr. Almerstone, <laughs> so I've explained to... Well, I've, I've questioned Mr. Geiger over there with regards to the incident. He said that he hasn't taken anything from your vehicle, which I do believe him at this point. Uh, but it was his uh, responsibility and duty of care to make sure your vehicle was dropped off at reputable and professional uh, scrappers, uh, junkers, or any tow yard. He stated that since the scrapyard down there didn't want to take receipt of your vehicle, it was uh, he was essentially driving around looking for a place to drop it off, and the place that you uh, you found the vehicle and was instructed where it was at, which was 2026 in Grapeseed, was a place that he deemed upon visual representation to be a reputable scrapyard, which obviously it wasn't. And, he, and there's a, an envelope with $200 uh, in the truck right now, and that was his money given to him for hauling the scrap, apparently. Um, so, it is a, it, it's going to have to go through civil courts right now, Mr. Armstrong. It's not a criminal matter. So, um, obviously, he does have his own company, so he will have company insurance. I'm going to take you over in a minute. I'd like you to remain calm. I'm going to exchange details for all the insurance so you can obviously claim what you need to off his. And obviously, it's not going to replace uh, the possessions that are missing at this point. But I have asked him and I've told him that the police will be investigating this matter further with regards to any details and descriptions of the individuals he spoke to over at 2026 so we can follow up with criminal matters. Uh, I told you, I didn't set up no company. I bought that truck, and they gave me a license, and I got it insured. And then I just spend mostly picking up wreck, you know, that is illegal, and take them to the scrapyard. I happened to find, see that mess that was going up over there. It's going to try and be a good Samaritan to help out. The one place couldn't find exactly the place he was talking about, so I up to the other one. And what, they let him know where it was. As far as anything missing in, out of it, I have no idea about that. Yeah, but you're okay, liable. Okay, Mr. Armstrong, if you want to go ahead and proceed to collate as, as much information as you deem necessary for this, um, I would advise name, date of birth, and address, and a contact number. What's your name? <laughs> <laughs> My name's Darren Geiger. What what are them rings worth? I'll, I'll give you what they're worth. As long as you ain't gonna try and gouge the hell out of me. 
They're priceless. They're worth over a billion yeah, dollars to me. <laughs> well, maybe you shouldn't have kept them in some old BOS truck like that. It has an alarm. Or at least it did. Well, I wouldn't know about that. You were liable. You should have taken it to a good place. What's your company called? Well, evidently it ain't called the damn thing, because evidently I don't have a registered company. What's your number plate? <laughs> it's on the truck. But if I walk over there, I'll drop my clipboard. <laughs> I'll get it later. Why? Yeah, all right. Why didn't you give the truck back to like the police or something and let them know what was happening? I thought I took it where it needed to go. How do I contact your lawyer? Oh, what? I'm suing you. How do I contact your lawyer? I ain't got no fancy ass lawyer. Where'd you live? I live over in Harmony. What's your address? <laughs> Hey, officer, what is up with all this? I offered to make a settlement, and he's he's getting all uppity on me here. Ten thousand dollars. It's it's nothing to do with me at this point. It is a civil matter. I'm here to make sure the peace is keep kept. Sorry, uh, make sure the peace is kept. Uh, it's gonna go through what you would call a claims court. It's gonna go through a civil matter. So if he chooses to sue you. Uh, the court's going to take into consideration the personal effects of the items that are missing at this point and the evidence that is provided. And then Ten grand and I'll leave it here. <laughs> Ten grand. Yeah. Ain't no rings yeah. worth that much. It was very Little old. chunks of gold and stone. Old. And my doors are missing. It's going to cost a lot to repair my truck. And emotional distress. <laughs> I'll give you five. Okay. I give you five and it's done and over with. Yeah, deal. I've just made uh, five grand. Guy <laughs> walk up by the truck officer. That way I just hand it to him. Sorry your rings got lost, man. I didn't touch those. No worries. I'll tell you what, I see that asshole again. I'll make sure uh, he gets a little talking to from me. Don't do anything silly. <laughs> no, Since no, when no. am I the one to give out advice? Are we square then? Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Officer. Right. I, I literally just made five grand. <laughs> I actually just made five grand. For just making up some roleplay. Right, I need to go fix my car. Anyway guys, that is going to do it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I want to check out this car first. What is that? That is really nice. Damn. I want it. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure... Okay, that didn't happen. Make sure you come back for the next episode, and I will see you then. Peace out, guys. I'm genuinely trying to get on my side of the road. Peace out, guys.